Chuck Gensler, we're in the new location of the Pilot Proficiency Center here at AirVenture. It's a relatively new concept here at the show. Tell us about what's going on here. Sure. So we moved over to the Four Corners area this year mm -hmm. from last year because of the we wanted to be centrally located so people could see us. Mm -hmm. it's, an, it's a bigger, better version of what they had last year. Mm -hmm. Basically, our goal is to bring people in, whether they're rusty pilots or pilots that want to get in the simulators and practice flying skills in the simulator. So we have several things going on. We have Tech Talks, which mm -hmm. are sponsored by Jeppesen on a variety of subjects that we are talking about. Then the other part is the simulators. We have 12 Redbird simulators, as well as a full motion Redbird simulator and a crosswind simulator. We have volunteer instructors from NAFI and SAFE that are here to man those to provide a, I would call it a, a mini training session of 30 minutes long for pilots, whether they're VFR or IFR, mainly to let them know that we really have a big emphasis on pilot proficiency and that we want them to seek out their training provider at home and get additional training from them and show the value of simulation training. One of the unique aspects about the Pilot Proficiency Center, I understand, is that you are able to include live air traffic control in the simulations. Talk about that aspect of it as well. Right, so in my opinion, I've been teaching for 40 years, I say, that adds the total realism to the simulation. So before, you would get in with your instructor and the instructor would be the air traffic controller. Now you have, they don't tell the difference between the simulated air traffic controller and the real world air traffic control. Everything from VFR taxi clearances to IFR clearances and in route control, you can't tell the difference between them giving you a vector to final for an ILS versus the real world. So where are those air traffic controllers? Are they part of the simulation or are they actual people? They're actual people. There are some controllers here mm -hmm. that are in the back room controlling, as well as they have locations, I believe, in Virginia and California, mm -hmm. where they have controllers that are out there that are tied in through the internet, and they can actually see the radar screen, and they're your controller may be in California, but he's controlling you here. So who are some of your other partners in this effort? Oh gosh, we got a whole list of sponsors that are helping us. We have Hartzell Propeller, Joe Brown, the president of Hartzell Propeller, I would say in my opinion is the gentleman that's making all this happen. Mm -hmm. Jeppesen, Redbirds donated all the simulators and the technicians to keep it all up and running. We have AOPA, we have pilot workshops, Society of Aviation Flight Educators, National Association of Flight Instructors, uh, mm -hmm. NAFI, uh, Independence Aviation, that's where I work, from Denver, Colorado. I think David Clark Headsets is also a sponsor. It looks like a really popular and happening spot, I and mean, there's a lot of people in here, and I understand that there's kind of a long wait to get into fly. so is this a center that is in operation at any time other than at Oshkosh? No, but our goal is to set the model here mm -hmm. and others see that own simulators mm -hmm. and do a similar setup there where it could be any city in the country or across the world mm -hmm. that has a simulator and some flight instructors where they can say, let's set up a proficiency training center. Redbird is going to try sharing some of our scenarios with the Redbird sim owners, but it can be done in other sims also. But that's the model where people can fly cheaply in the sim but still get good training. Well Chuck, thank you very much for taking some time to talk with us today. It's been kind of a loud interview but you know we're at an air show so you got to expect that. You're right. Well thank you very much. I appreciate it. Aero TV is brought to you by Alpha Systems AOA products are available for experimental, pressurized, and certified aircraft. President Mark Corrin notes that there is nothing more rewarding than designing a product that helps save someone's life. To see how Alpha Systems AOA technology can make you a safer pilot, check out www.alphasystemsaoa.com.